Hello! This is the uh, one episode rule podcast about first impressions. I'm Magpie. And, uh, you know, I I just thought about it and I can't remember. I can't remember who it was, but I, there's somebody I know. There's somebody I know that really doesn't like Howl's Moving Castle. And, you know, that's fine. You know what? That's, that's fine for people who have lost the capacity to feel joy. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have a reason? I don't remember. <laughs> I am, I'm, I'm there's somebody I know. Great. There's somebody I know, like relatively closely. So, um, if they're a real friend, they'll find out about this. Anyway, <laughs> oh, they're getting called out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you have a problem with Howl's Moving Castle, you can email us at oneepisodecast at gmail dot com. That is you, one. Uh, the, <laughs> the word, not the number. If you have a problem with Howl's Moving Castle, you can you can you can send us a message on Twitter at I don't care about your bad opinions at twitter.com. <laughs> and then uh, we'll fight you. Presumably. If you if you have a problem with Howl's Moving Castle, you can catch these hands. <laughs> anyway, would y'all uh, like to introduce yourselves? Absolutely. Sure. Uh Hello, I am Joey, and I am coming. Hi, Joey. Coming to you from the couch today. Oh, couch yeah, time! I'm normally confined to the closet, but no one's here today, so I decided to go let loose. I gotta, I gotta put up my, I gotta put up my recording. <laughs> oh Cheat no! Thing. Cheat. Uh huh. That's that's my five special term for the blanket he puts over himself while we do the podcast. <laughs> the sensory deprivation blanket. <laughs> it's like a weighted blanket. I, I, I'm, I have to I have to fill this tank with saline before I do the podcast. <laughs> oh, he that guy floats in a in a full bathtub just full of ramune, um, <laughs> for this podcast. He really wants to get into the anime. Hi, I'm Emma. I haven't introduced myself. <laughs> Go. Hi, I'm, hi, I'm Emma. Uh, I had a challenging experience at Applebee's today at 4 p.m. Uh, I did not know that they existed while the sun was still out. <laughs> <laughs> the sun challenging. Also, mm-hmm. welcome back. Yeah, thank you. It's been a long time. Um, yeah. Been, been, uh... Not to get too bummy on our podcast, but I've been going through it. Uh, oh. But this is this is uh, my triumphant return to oh. to the ower. <laughs> it's good to be back. Thus ends the long dark night of our spirit. <laughs> <laughs> the great Emma drought of 2019. <sighs> Joey, would you like to introduce yourself? Joey already did, did introduce, introduce themselves. Oh. I said I'm uh, Joey and I'm coming to you from the living room. Oh. Oh no. Pay attention. It's no, it's okay. He's just a little thrown off because we're missing a host. Um Yeah. Black of good make. Chaotic. Um uh, Canadian Gremlin. Couldn't All right. Well, well, maybe introduce yourself to to me to me again through the through the uh, the magic of breaking me off a piece. Yes, I am oh my here God. to break you off a piece. And now, hang on. What's break me off a piece? <laughs> it's where I tell you guys about One Piece. Oh it's my God! Sin, I missed the it's birth a of the second that we developed while you were gone. <laughs> well, I'm I'm so glad to have it back. Can you tell me a little bit more about One Piece? Can you break me off a piece? Yes, and I'm going Emma. to tell you a Yes. I say it. Um Well <laughs> that's funny anyway. because I also said it though, so Anyway, so you, tell me more about this Zolo fellow. I hear he's just like a samurai. You would think that you said it, but we'll see if that gets born out <laughs> later. <laughs> uh-huh, okay, sure. so what I'm going to tell you about today is how interesting all of the powers in One Piece are, because okay. They have these powers, and they come from magical fruits called devil fruits. And, mm-hmm. Okay, so it's fun because there's three categories of these, and I won't like use the um, 
the terms from the anime, but basically it's like elemental powers, animal powers, and then miscellaneous powers. Strong. As a, you know, you know, as a, as a, as a young person in rural Texas, I was told that the devil's fruits were, were dancing in video games. <laughs> I I don't get the reference. Never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> that happens okay. a lot. Okay, so no, here, I'm gonna give you some some fun examples. Ele- okay. uh, so so here's some of the elemental powers. We have fire, lightning, mm. ice, smoke, light, um, magma, uh, stuff like that, and mm-hmm. uh, ennui. What now? What's Moki? Uh, like the rice ball stuff. Is that an element? It's it's an element in One Piece. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if that's considered. I don't remember if that one was considered elemental or not. It's one of the tr- it's one of the building blocks of all matter. Sure, <laughs> fire, water, <laughs> air, earth. Mochi. So okay, here's some examples of uh, some of the animals. We have stuff like jaguar, falcon. We have some dogs. We have stuff like T Rexes, um, mammoths. Uh, there's a phoenix. Um, so yeah, there's there's like. What kind of rating things. would you give? What kind of rating would you give the the wielders of these powers on the uh, on the furry scale? Oh, it's weird because their like their faces will turn like animal on the top, but they still have like the human jawline. Hmm. So they look really like I don't like them actually. I don't like that. They look really Plus, fucked up. Also yeah, they do. There's also proper furries in One Piece, but that's a different sure. thing. Okay, and I, then, I so, know one of those Chopper. Chopper's doctrine. Chopper is. Uh, he has the human power. He's not. He doesn't have the reindeer power because he that's was a reindeer. Part. And the worst thing I've ever heard. Fruit. So okay, imagine he was a reindeer. <laughs> Imagine if a human ate that fruit and it was just the human fruit. <laughs> they it's don't do anything. It is I, man to man, with the <laughs> power of two men. <laughs> it doesn't appear. It doesn't appear to change anything, but it changes your name to Greg. Um, <laughs> That's probably true. You just eat the human fruit and you just grow like a horrifying second face. <laughs> oh. Just be like, kill me, Quaid. <laughs> Quaid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then let's have some examples of the miscellaneous category, which is my favorite because they can be like buck wild. So we'll start with stuff like rubber. That's our main character. He's a rubber that's, person. That's the boy. That's the boy. That's the our guy. Boy. Um, stuff like string. Then there's powers like making things smooth. Uh, smooth, there's like someone who can baby. spawn clothing. There's someone who can <laughs> turn into a jacket. There's someone who okay. can swim through land. Um, yeah, that's all the that's all the examples I have off the top of my head. So they're fun. They're weird. <laughs> are the can I ask if the if the devil fruit are tasty? Actually, the devil fruit are canonically t- they taste horrible. Oh man. Everyone who's ever tried one is like, oh, this is the most disgusting thing I've ever tasted. Wow. Let's move on from this, uh, because I can't, <laughs> I can't stand to think about like the, the existential problem of Chopper and how he was <laughs> cursed by God with the knowledge of sin. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> like, he took a yeah. perfectly good, like, hooved ungulate and you gave it anxiety. That's what, the, what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. It's got anxiety. Look at him. <laughs> Poor creature. Anyway, uh, I've got a uh, I've got a show for us to watch. That is one that Blackle has wanted us to watch for a good long while, and since she's not here, we can watch it. <laughs> Yay! Great. So, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna pop off with uh, with Eden of the East. Okay. Uh-oh. So yes, this is what I was thinking it was going to be. This is what it is because... going to be. I've heard her mention that show quite a lot. I think she really likes it, so. Uh, it, it apparently has a buck wild first episode. So. I'm, a, oh. I'm afraid of this. I'm so, excited. 
So we're gonna, you know, I, I've I've secured us a location for it. Can, can we talk about um? Uh, can we talk about oh, the yeah, difficulties rabbit. brought upon us by the death of Rabbit? Yeah. So, so as as listener, as you may know, Rabbit is no more. I t- I tweeted very sadly a memorial to Rabbit. Uh-huh. Yes, uh, the 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 shambling corpse of Rabbit was uh, was shot and replaced with a with an by by an app that doesn't work by a company that is shit. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't function at all. Not, none of the buttons even click. Like the buttons don't do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah guys, let's sad. go the let's go in on cast. Like if you if you go if you go there because you tried to go to Rabbit and you find cast, don't get cast. Cast is worthless. <laughs> it literally it's... does nothing. It does it, nothing. It has no um, features. In fact, and then you wh- can't even remove your email from. You can't even delete your account. <laughs> you yeah, can't. like I found no way to delete my account, and I can't get back in there to find a way to <laughs> complete my account because it just wants me to re-download the app. It's not good. Yeah, it's bad. It's uh, bad. So yeah, I would encourage you, like, even if you wanted wanted a replacement for Rabbit, which apparently all of the Western world was using to to fucking internet date each other and I never even thought to try it. But <laughs> yeah. but uh if you want a replacement for that, I would suggest it would be a lot more a lot better use of your time to learn programming than to download cast. Uh-huh. Anyway, let's watch Eden of the East. Gather round, gather round, and let me tell you a tale of Akira the Dick Shifter, a man <laughs> whose Johnson never looked the same twice. No, 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 no. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Good lord. Dick faced humor. <laughs> Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> it's got to got to show off. Well, the English in this was surprisingly good. I know very that's good. Like, that's like my main note. It's incredibly fucking jarring whenever you just hear somebody say in regular ass English. So just be like, "All right, here's your luggage. Get the fuck out of my cab." Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I actually wrote down, "Is this a dub?" Question mark. Yeah, and that I was. was... Like, oh no, wait, he's an American. Thanks. Yeah, he's, he's speaking like, English. <laughs> The first line is in English, and I was like, did we just, like, is this just a dub or something? Yeah. I was really confused. And I'm also, before we get into all the weirdness we're going to dump on this, I'm also impressed that uh, that the African-American people in this show are not afflicted with the typical monsterism of anime. <laughs> yeah, they yes. just look, like, just, like, really, really racist. Yeah, they uh, just yeah. look like kind of normal people. <laughs> and they normal. appear to actually be voiced by black people, which, yeah, thank God. is good. And so that's very impressive for the anime industry, which is sad. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> impressive. So. So. Who wants to bust out that blurb? Saki's visit to the U.S. takes an odd turn when she meets Takizawa in front of the White House. He's naked and armed with a gun. He has no memory and may be a terrorist. And he's joining her on a flight to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I felt a great deal of... Uh, like I, uh, like I found this story to be very relatable. <laughs> re- re- you think to spawn in front of the I, White House I, with your dick out? <laughs> I, I, I do have, I do have been ac- across from the White House, dick out, <laughs> gun in hand. <laughs> really? Wow, yeah. that's how Magpie and I met. Mm. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little podcast trivia for you. God. So yeah, the first thing you see this girl doing is like throwing coins at the White House. She was trying to get him into the White House fountain, which okay, sure, but there's like cops and then <laughs> they're yeah, it's it's I mean like It's just like, hey, what are you throwing at the White House? <laughs> she's just a dumb tourist, so like <laughs> She could have I mean, just turned around and showed them over. Showed them what was in her hand. That's true. I feel like a lot of her problems that that occurred in this episode could have could have just been solved by even a light explanation. 
She just um, frozen. She just freezes up easily. I think. Yeah. I Although, mean, to be I fair, mean, like you're in a different country and yeah. the cops come up to you and they're speaking a language which presumably she doesn't speak it very well. Like she did say, like one English line at one point where she's like, "What number is What's his, his number? What's his re yeah that." <laughs> That guy, yeah. that guy is an asshole, by the way. <laughs> that guy who's coming out of the building is an asshole. <laughs> he's just like, what, that guy? Oh, yeah, he's 3 me. You know, here's, uh -huh. his, here's his room key. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, person I never met before. <laughs> right. Not my problem. <laughs> I mean, she could have just been someone. They both spoke Japanese, so maybe he assumed they know each other. <laughs> Maybe. Wait, did Akira know. speak Japanese to that guy? Akira, that was the thing that confused me a whole lot about that scene was because in Japanese, Akira was like, uh, "Is my room number on the second floor?" And the guy was like, "Aren't you in the on the third floor?" Uh, I think he I, was kind of like presuming what. Akira, yeah. Uh, 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 Takis. I don't know. That's uh, a lot yeah. to presume. <laughs> Although he did like hold up two fingers. He held up two fingers. So maybe, okay, so maybe there we he's go. like Yeah. Wow, that's pretty good visual storytelling then. <laughs> it's I yeah, I don't actually have that many notes. It was I enjoyed this. I have lots I of notes. I did enjoy it. <laughs> what I got confused what? by was the interaction with the lady cop that was like, Hey you, hey girl, what are you this person? <laughs> mm-hmm. And then, She's just like, uh. and then <laughs> the the guy comes out and she's like, "I'm gonna need you to show me your dick." She <laughs> said, "I need you to show me, show me your she Johnson." Said, I need to see your Johnny. <laughs> I need your to Johnny. It I'm gonna need Johnny. to see that. Gonna need it, to see it. It was shocking. I was really put off. Son, the I'm gonna need time. to see your hog. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Could you pull out your hog? You're thir 34 to 50 hogs. No. No, come on. <laughs> it leaks. No. <laughs> okay. We can't use that one now. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's topical. Uh, so, uh, the censor bar was pretty funny. <laughs> I Yeah, I did write down in my notes, it does say, the scribble on his dibble. The whirling, <laughs> the whirling chaos. Joey? <laughs> that was funny. It was so funny. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I do a comedy podcast. <laughs> Man, Akira was so chill about everything. He's just like, oh, he yeah, this, this is how it's going today. <laughs> He's like, oh, I don't have any memory anymore. Okay. I guess I'm going to be this guy. Yeah, this one. All right, can we'll I, just pop these I other two in the say, toaster. <laughs> can I also say his, um, when she gave him her, like, coat and, like, like her um scarf and like stuff she was mm -hmm. just dressing him very slowly very, i thought she was only slowly. gonna give him the hat and the scarf and i was laughing i, I, I was like anything else <laughs> but it, it was kind of a look like it's a look. it was my favorite moment of the show had no dialogue in it and it's whenever she catches up to him and he's across the street talking to the business guy and he's just like it's just like look <laughs> oh yeah, and the I got no pants, and the guy's just like, pants. "Sure, yeah, you can have my pants." Fuck. Yeah. And then, the, and then when Akira is walking away, the businessman is like, "Yeah." It's <laughs> just like, like yeah. what was that about? What did he See? say to them? See you later. What? I don't know. Um, I thought when she took off her scarf that she was gonna tie it around him like a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thought that. Came into my brain as well. Just, just like a nice kind of modern fundoshi. See, uh, I, I had the same thought when she was handing him the hat, except I thought she was just gonna place it over top. Of <laughs> just, <laughs> just gonna hang it off of his erect junk. What do you think? I don't know. I thought he, she's gonna be like, here, hold this over your junk. Uh -huh. Just hold this here. Hold this over your junk and jog back. Jog the four <laughs> blocks to your apartment in central DC. I mean, he was he was without pants for a long time, and that coat, like, it was just d drifting up. Coat didn't seem to cover a lot of his junk. No. no. 
seemed like he's his just jogging was still... and waving at the hot dog guy, and he's just like, "Oh yeah, I'm dressed like this." <laughs> um, the, I just I have to go back to the fact that the English in this show scared the shit out of me. <laughs> it was very like it was so good. It was not like not only was it like clearly like American people who were doing voices for the show, but also. Just like all of all of the English that they used in the meantime, the, uh, hearing hearing an anime character reference Taxi Driver and Jason Bourne, <laughs> yeah, it's a little weird. <laughs> it was weird. It made, it made me go feral, and I said out loud, "Jason Bourne, Jason Bourne, <laughs> Taxi Driver." <laughs> Taxi Driver sounds like you know what? That sounds like Joseph Joe Star's favorite movie. <laughs> It does just be like, taxi driver! <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> he just looks over at Susie Q in their fucking building in New York and goes, taxi driver! <laughs> I speak American English! <laughs> Me too. Oh, oh shit. Um... <laughs> I don't have a lot of notes because uh, half of the my little notebook is taken up by the phrase that I minted halfway through the show. Oh, uh, okay. That just says "dick shifter." Dick shifter. <laughs> with okay, a t- with like a little. Well, he said he was cold earlier. <laughs> he did say he. Well, did it shrink? Is that what he, you're that's saying? what he? Yeah, that was what he was implying. <laughs> he was like, "Man, I was so cold earlier. Thank God, I'm okay now." <laughs> Oh, Thank God, my my Johnny. That. <laughs> my Johnny. He warms himself leveler. by the toaster, presumably, um, <laughs> to to reinflate his Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> the toaster that he used to presumably burn down that entire like apartment, like mm-hmm. he, he burned down a shitty David Cage apartment. <laughs> God, because it was full of weapons. He's like, why are there weapons here? Oh well. It's just like, oh shit, I just leave. Am I a criminal? <laughs> oh well. He seems to take being a terrorist pretty well. <laughs> um he because like he has like a single moment of like, oh my god, am I a terrorist? And then he's like, Yep, guess I'm a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> and then they go to the 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 airport later and he's like, Oh, by the way, I'm a terrorist. And she's like, What? And he's like, just kidding. Uh, I play this fun little game where I pretend to be a terrorist and get naked and wave a gun in front of the White House. (laughs) And she's like, that's such a terrible game. And then he makes a dick joke. And then she laughs. I know Johnny. (laughs) (laughs) And then then he forgot his own fake name. Oh, yeah. My name's... uh, Sophie or whatever, and he's like, my name, uh, he pulls out his passport, and he's like, just look at my passport. That's a really powerful move, I think, is if somebody asks you what your name is, just hand them your passport. (laughs) Here. Lilo Lilo Dallas Multipass. (laughs) Multipass. Uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, boy. They were like, (laughs) We're born in 1989, so I was like, holy shit, are they 30? And then I was like, okay, this show is probably not this yeah, this, same is from, year. <laughs> this is from back in the day. So. I was like, wait a minute, they're older than me. How? What? <laughs> How? I don't know, the like, default oh. st- style of like anime hasn't changed that much over the past 20 years. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. that's what I'm saying. Like, this looks like it, it doesn't look old. This could have come out yesterday. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it it holds up pretty well. I th- well, I think Saki looks a little bit like a frog, but in like an endearing way. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, uh, according to the Wikipedia article, this takes place in two thousand and ten, so they are twenty one. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Shocking. Incredible. So, do you want to hear about? the horrible ad that I got because I we... bet very badly. Okay, Hulu... you did mention it. Hulu was serving me ads like it would serve me four ads in a row and I, I was like this sucks but also whatever. And so <laughs> I'm just going to tell you the line from the ad and you have to imagine what the ad was about, okay? Okay. The ad said precision tools for your family jewels. 
No. No. So, Proud producers. It was of appropriate the, for the show we watched. Yeah. Proud producers of the Dick Shifter TM. <laughs> it was for an item called manscaping. Manscaping. Oh so, yeah, yeah, I've been so. seeing those commercials lately. You know what? Good on them for producing a set of gear specifically for trimming body hair. I, mean, I don't like putting it on. Sorry. The naked anime. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was funny because it was related. That's all. I got an ad. I got an ad for that company the other day that advertised a uh, a chest hair trimmer titled the Lawnmower. Oh, mm-hmm. I, and I, I don't don't love that. I, I, say. I've seen them. It's it's brimming with 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 like terrible dad energy. That commercial scares me, scares uh-huh. me really bad. Um. <laughs> I got a really scary... So, listen, Rabbit used to save us from this, okay? Rabbit used uh-huh. to have flawless ad blocking. Not a single ad. You could watch Hulu. You could watch... And it wouldn't... It would, no, no website would harass you. But now that Rabbit has been taken from us... Taken... In the prime of its youth! <laughs> it was so young. Damn it. Anyway, I got a bunch of, like, scary ads about, like... And private information companies that are like, look up your family and friends. Um, uh, yeah, that's do it. Bad. Do it over here where we can see. <laughs> <laughs> Not good. Whoops! Looks like you've been part of a data breach. <laughs> um, Oops! Oopsie doopsie. We made a breachy weechy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, well, I didn't get any ads because I view block origin. One I also problem. have Ublock Origin. I don't know what the problem was. Do you have it on Chrome? Looking into it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> mm. Hey, so okay. back to the show for a second. Uh-huh. That's right. something we haven't mentioned about the end of the episode. What? Japan got missile? Oh, yeah. Japan, got, Japan got attacked by a missile. Apparently uh-huh. not a very big missile, but a kind of big well, missile. Um, Tokyo was on fire. Like, it was like a conventional missile. The large portion of the city looked like it was on fire. Like it looked like a couple of neighborhoods by the bay got uh, got severely fucked up. <laughs> yeah, it looked not good. Well, I, I was trying to specify that this was that they did not drop a fucking nuclear bomb. No, 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 no. no, no. They didn't. Yes, it was. Tokyo. It was a missile. It was a missile. But like. What what kind of show is this supposed to be? I I don't know. I pick, I, I started picking know. up threads of what's like happening in the background, like his fucky cell phone and his ability to convince anybody to yeah. do anything for a reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's um, there's very clearly something weird going on. <laughs> someone on the phone said they were expecting him to vanish. Did they mean literally? I don't <laughs> Just know. like hide. Just turn into know. a big scribble. I, was, well, I don't know, I guess. I uh, just extend like, his fucking scribble powers to his whole body. Is he some sort of, like, machine that vaporizes upon... But then I was like, no, <laughs> yeah. that doesn't make any probably. sense. You probably just mean, like, go into hiding, right? Like, Yeah, that's what I was assuming. Well, I was, I was, I was gonna say, if he was, like, a machine, then that wouldn't make any sense, because he's, you know, he's got the Johnson and everything. But then I did remember Star Trek The Next Generation and, and Data. <laughs> Data has a Johnson. <laughs> the Terminator has a Johnson. And that about. time, and that, yeah, that's a really weird, come to think of it, come to think of it, the Terminator appears naked in the 80s, and nobody says anything about him not having one. Yeah, nobody <laughs> says, where's your dick, Mr. So, Schwarzenegger, which so does I, seem to imply it's got to be there. I have to assume that it's he was there. crafted with one. Mm-hmm. It's there. By Skynet. <laughs> You think the metal guy has it? You think the T-1000 has it? Yes. He's got whatever he wants. That's true. He can uh, have a a gun. (laughs) But, uh... Yeah. Now I'm... Great. Now I'm thinking about that episode of fucking TNG where Data fucks Tasha Yar and they both look like they're covered in canola. Great. Great. (laughs) Well... (laughs) Is that what comes out of Data? I don't know! (laughs) Maybe that there's a lot of it on everyone. Show. You never know. I wouldn't maybe be that's maybe. 
Maybe Akira Takizawa was, was just a little data. She was pretty casual about seeing his Johnson a lot of times. She was not just casual, but I would go as far as to say enthusiastic. She mildly like, interested. actively looked at it at least a couple of times. Yeah. Would, would you not? No, I <laughs> would, but... I mean, yeah. Yes. If you were standing, if you were standing outside the fence, outside of the White House lawn, <laughs> talking to a stark naked dude who walked up to you out of nowhere, <laughs> you're telling you're like, me you wouldn't hi. look at his junk. <laughs> hi, hello. <laughs> even a little. <laughs> yeah, hello. like not. I mean, it's not even like a sexual thing. It's just a no, distraction. It's just there. It's just there. You just you have to confront it. <laughs> it's an in- like confront intimidation it. factor. Like confront. It's- the Johnny. That reminds me of something. That reminds me of a story I heard one time about Colin Farrell. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm oh, sure. It was just a. It was just on a, a movie set where apparently they were doing a sex scene, and in between takes, they had to give Colin a towel because he was confusing and frightening the rest of the cast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm saying that Colin Farrell apparently has an enormous schlong. <laughs> oh no. And it was literally distracting people whose jobs were to like maintain the camera equipment and oh stuff. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and they had to put it away in between days. <laughs> put that back. Get that out of here. Like, Jesus, cover that. Come on, can you put they your need, barrel away? They needed a scribble. <laughs> you needed a scribble. <laughs> look, look, look at this. The craft services table is just in complete disarray. <laughs> God, I hate that. I hate it so Damn much. Damn it. Oh, boy. What the fuck are we talking about? What show did we watch? <laughs> it was called... We, ta- we watched the East. East of Eden. <laughs> I almost called it East of Eden as well. Yeah. Eden of the East. We watched Beast of the East. We watched Beast, Beast of, of the Eden. East by R.L. Stein. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, boy. So would oh, you guys watch really another episode of this? Yeah. Um... I think so. Probably, yeah. I'm kind of into it. They did. They, let me put it. I should put it this way. No matter what we said about this, this is probably a promising show. They set a number of different plot hooks that are really interesting. So, yeah, it was like uh, it definitely didn't do anything that like turned me off. I don't think. I, I, I think, think that it, it was for, for the first episode of an anime. I thought it was pretty good. I was kind of into it. it. It did really well as a first episode. Like mm-hmm. I said, it, it said numerous plot hooks. I feel like it's going to go in like a uh, code code uh, Gius uh, direction. Mm-hmm. You know, where it's like, ah, I'm cool guy that control people's minds. <laughs> I got this phone. God. <laughs> <And> a gun. <laughs> Maybe. I'm going to call your brain number and hypnotize you. What was the gun for? What was he going to do with the gun? Intimidation. Uh, yeah. Well, I, no, he had his Johnny for that. Uh, true. <laughs> there, that's also a kind of gun if you think about it. An important that's question true. is why the why these two uh, Washington and DC police officers didn't just turn around and fucking waste him whenever he <laughs> showed up naked with a gun. <laughs> why they didn't just obliterate him? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't think I said it, but I would probably. Give give it some more episodes. Uh, speaking of watching more things, <laughs> I watched all of Kaiji, by the way. That's the <laughs> most fucked up thing you've said on this podcast ever. <laughs> Kaiji's good, though. I uh, re- recommend. Do it. Everyone watch it, please. I you just know. can't. I'm sorry, folks. I can't get over it. I can't look at it long enough. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't handle the constant hypnic jerks, the constant just <laughs> sudden and rude awakenings of oh my god, he looks like that. I've uh, I, I've percolated on, for, on it for a while. I haven't watched any further than we did uh, the night after we did that episode, but I percolated on it a while. I really like Kaiji as a protagonist because he is such a bag of shit. <laughs> <laughs> he is, like, but like he's also like. <sighs> I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll talk about it later because this is about 
Eden of the East, not Kaiji. <laughs> I'm just, I'm obsessed. I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, no one has been able to, no one has been able to keep us on topic. See the the complete the completed Evangelion episode that is formed if you cut out all the sections from the other episodes and put them together into one supercut. <laughs> That's true. Like. <laughs> That's like the last episode where we just talk about we we talk in each episode so much about Evangelion that you can assemble your own Evangelion episode. <laughs> it's like those Marvel toys where like you get like a single piece of Galactus, but you have to buy like fucking <laughs> and then you like get duplicates Ant-Man. sometimes and like yeah, and then you have to you're like you oh this buy again. like. Lobo, no wait, Lobo's DC. Lobo, you, Jesus you, Christ! You have to buy Moon Knight, which I think is roughly equivalent to Lobo. <laughs> um, uh, I know you're in here, Dracula. Too, Where's because, my money? It's fun too because I still haven't seen uh, any Avon Evangelion, Evangelion. Avon. Um, <laughs> not a not um not for lack of trying, but I'm gonna you know, make that work, it, <laughs> and I want you know, to see some. But I, we'll I'm find a way bits. to do it. We're gonna find. We're gonna. We're gonna find the way to do it. I'm not gonna just just keep letting me down. Let it oh man. <laughs> down. Okay, we'll we'll figure it podcast? out. Netflix Evangelion is extremely good. Go tell your friends. <laughs> um. All right. Um, hey, do we name? have any fan mail? Do we have any fan mail? I should check. Do we have any fan mail? Uh. Let's go to Gmail. If you have any fan mail that you'd like to send us, uh, you can reach us at oneepisodecast at gmail.com. What was that email, Joey? That's oneepisodecast at gmail.com. That's one the word, not the number. Wink. I'm going to keep <laughs> chomping magpies near <laughs> 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 Sorry, that was like a delayed charge. <laughs> Where? Where the fuck is it? It signed me into mine. What's going on? Oh, you, do you have? Do you not have the little like where it's connected to all of your accounts, and then it does a it drop down been. menu? I'm 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 working on it. Fill time. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna keep chomping Magpie's narration flavor, <laughs> and he's gonna just eliminate me. <laughs> Hello. <He's- laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. I chopped that from Ashens, so. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go, go check out, go check out, uh, fucking comedian Stuart Ashens on YouTube. Just find where I, <laughs> I snatched that bit. So, if you want me to kill time, um, uh, I will mention that. Being in the living room was a mistake because my roommate got home sooner than I was expecting, and I was been watching there. something, and it's very loud, been and there. I'm like hiding. Been there <laughs> happened to me during the uh, the popped up episode. Oh yeah, that was your episode too. That was so sad. Every time I have an episode, something happens. We do. Uh, I'm so we, sorry. We we do have we do have some more fan mail. Oh swag. Nice. Um, uh, from uh, <clears throat> from uh, Assassino Chan. Wow. Uh-huh. Assassino. Who I uh, presume Is it to be Assassino the... or Assassino? It that appears, that was to be, in there. appears to be Assassino. Oh, Did anybody okay. notice that in the show that the that the cab was called like Assin Cab? <laughs> yeah, I did. It was Assin very strange. Cab. But <laughs> shocking. Uh. Anyway, I'll I'll read this out. Uh, greetings to you, super anime one rule friend cast. <laughs> All right, we that's, we could call ourselves that. That's kind of Assassinino uh... is the name that they're giving in the text, but the name that pops up for the oh, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ready to dish out my best mark tactics yet again. To show questionable depreciation to a band of connoisseurs who delve into the murky waters of anime. So I know we're still in the early stages, but I had to ponder when we could be treated to a learned Japanese segment for the misled <laughs> weaves and recovering hey, a. Hey! That's a, a good segment holic. idea. This is. I, I have to. 
Now, listen, I have no idea who this person is, but I am just realizing that the the email title does say potential shill for Emma content. (laughs) Does it really? I didn't send this phantom. I don't know who this is. (laughs) But if the people demand more Emma, who am I to deny them? (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I'm so very tired. (laughs) Also, a pair of questions for everyone. What conventions do you frequent, and what are some of your favorite cosplays to observe? Uh, I haven't been to any conventions, sadly. Let I me... want to go to any any convention at all. Yeah. Let me let me finish this before we get into the question, because... Okay, okay go ahead. Uh, I'm glad my last letter was well-received enough that I'm not on the deny list yet. Please believe in me that I will only go stronger in my letter. Like the ideas of Weeb juice and furry trash bags. Oh man. <laughs> Anticipate the Patreon or Etsy store opening soon. God, an Etsy store. <laughs> <laughs> the Etsy for my gamer girl tap water. Yes. With all the energy of four stale boxes of mo- uh, mochi flavored hard candy, Assassarino. <laughs> I, I love you, Assassarino. Thank you, Assassarino. Uh, um, I don't go to conventions anymore. <laughs> anymore. I went to Akon once. One time. I went to Akon once. And I suppose, uh, if I had to answer the second question, while I was a- at Akon, I did see a very dedicated and very attractive Felicia from Dar- Darkstalkers there. So. Oh. Fair. Fair and valid. I mean, Saucy. I mean yeah. Very. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Um... I have not been to conventions in many moons uh, because I have uh, no money. Uh, I'll t- I'm going to turn that around, though, when the Gamer Girl tap water gets off the, Hell yeah. off the ground. Um, but uh, not to dox myself, but I used to go to Ken Tokyo Con uh, in Ashland? No, somewhere in Kentucky. I don't remember. Uh, and Tsubasa Con in McElroyville. Um, I used to go to both of those pretty regularly and a couple of other cons, uh, like in the Ohio area with less you, uh, frequency. You do have the most weeb cred of us all, I, don't you? I hate this show. I hate, I hate <laughs> this show because I always, I go into it and I'm like, I'm not the biggest weeb here. Come on. And then like, I open up our spreadsheet and I'm like, oh, hey, look at my like 50 anime that I've seen. <laughs> And somebody asks about Japanese, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I can do that. And then there's somebody asks about cons, and I'm like, oh, I've been to this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. You know, I was just thinking about it. I was just thinking about it. I'm more amenable now to the idea of a learned Japanese segment. Uh, I just think that anybody but Emma should host it. Okay. (laughs) Okay. That's fair. Here's here's what I think. Blackle should host it. Blackle should host it. Good idea. But I have to be there. Just yes. so while Blackle is speaking, I can just be kind of emitting a low, anxious hum the entire time. <laughs> um, I like how you are you are actively um, pushing for your own torture. Um, that's pretty cool. It's, it's bold. <laughs> it's a tradition on this show so far. I think is just like <laughs> just like personally victimizing Emma. Um, I think we all do it to ourselves. Like that's true. It's true. Like. Like, like Blackle has made statements about the sword art thing. Joey <laughs> mentions Joey stuff. Uh, everything, <laughs> basically. I started this podcast. You started this podcast. You brought us into this hole. Um, uh, and as far as the cosplays question, um, I'm always super into seeing people make like props and armor. I think that it takes a uh, it takes a lot of skill to like be a seamstress and stuff, and and like so you're on co- cosplay. It is an entirely different beast to make like a, a piece of armor that like fits you, but isn't gonna like fall apart. So. And also oh, like man, looks that cool. Me. That reminds me. There's a bunch of really good Warframe cosplayers. Yeah. Warframe. Yeah, I imagine they have. To, I imagine those costumes end up end up costing them like fucking thousands of dollars to construct tons and tons, and tons of money i cosplayed metaton from undertale once and uh due to my just my own lack of skill with construction it did in fact explode off of me <laughs> oh my god it was really not good <laughs> see 
See, that's why that's why you build like the uh, the the box metaton and wear <laughs> yeah. it. And if it explodes off you, box. if it explodes off you, you can just be like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> And then you put your little leggy out. Put your little legs out. Vile. Okay. Are we done? Vile. Are we going to wrap this up? Now? I think <laughs> probably be done. There's been about five different parts of this show where we could have probably wrapped it. Where we could have stopped it. I think it'll officially end if we say Deep Dog on the Deep Frog, so. Deep Dog on the Deep Frog. Can I? It's wait, no, before it finishes, no, let me tell you guys that it's pronounced.